The bats come alive, but not enough pitching as the Red Sox drop the opener of a four-game series with Tampa Bay 8-7 here on Monday night. Mike Petralia inside Fenway Park where J.D. Martinez made his first homer of 2020 count. It was 425 feet over the green monster in the bottom of the third inning and put the Red Sox up 4-1. to one. They also had a 3-0 lead after the first inning, but the Red Sox bullpen could not hold it in this one. This game featured an opener, Ryan Brazier, throwing a scoreless first inning, but it was Marcus Walden and Jeffrey Springs who combined to give up six hits and four runs in the middle innings as Tampa Bay built themselves an 8-5 lead late in the game. The Red Sox would make it 8-7 in the bottom of the eighth inning, a two-run single by Jonathan Araruz, who also picked up his first big league hit earlier in the game, a fifth-inning single. Araruz came through in the clutch after Andrew Benatendi, a pinch hitter, uh, worked a walk to load the bases. Uh, The Red Sox came through in the clutch in the bottom of the eighth eighth inning, but could not in the bottom of the ninth. Mitch Moreland was unavailable due to knee soreness, according to Red Sox manager Ron Renicky. He said after the game that even talking to him during the game, he knew Moreland, who ended the game here on Sunday, a walk-off victory for the Red Sox with his second home run of the day. He, Mitch Moreland, would be unavailable to bat in the bottom of the ninth inning. Instead, Michael Chavis struck out to end the game. Again, the Red Sox had their opportunities here on Monday night to get a leg up and creep closer to Tampa Bay in the standings, but the Red Sox fall to 6-10 and 10 on the season while Tampa Bay moves over 500 at 9-8. and eight. The final again here inside Fenway Park on Monday night, Tampa Bay 8 and the Red Sox 7. Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.